Today we're gonna to talk about what to do if you've been nursing your baby and you're ready to transition them to the bottle and they're not quite ready for it yet. So this is a common problem that happens to moms who are going back to school and they're going back to work and they need some help in transitioning their baby to a bottle. So this is a really good time to ask for the help of another caregiver. So this can either be your partner or a nanny or somebody else who's gonna be taking care of your baby. So babies are used to nursing at particular places and looking at certain things in their surroundings that's gonna to hint to them that it's time for a breastfeeding session. So when you're ready to transition your baby to a bottle, it might be good to have somebody else take them to a different setting, a different room and a different chair. So today I'm gonna to give you my three tips on transitioning your baby to taking a bottle. Tip number one is gonna be timing. Tip number two is gonna be happy cues. And tip number three is taste. So timing. The best thing is to offer your baby a bottle. You wanna do this about an hour or two after their last nursing feed. You wanna catch them when they're highly motivated and active, but not when they're ravenous or starving. It's best to start with only a half an ounce of milk, no need in wasting that precious breast milk. Number two, happy cues. So your baby is gonna be very astute to your temperament. If you're nervous, if you're frustrated about feeding your baby, your baby's gonna pick up on that. So you wanna to talk to them in a very soothing voice. You wanna smile at them and let them know that you're also feeling pretty comfortable. Tip number three is taste. So you wanna introduce some milk on the baby's lip or tongue so they can already start to taste what they're about to get and that they understand that their meal is coming from a different form. You also wanna introduce the nipple into their mouth very gently. If they're showing signs that they're frustrated by thrusting their tongue or arching their back or crying, that would be a good time to stop. If it's taking longer than 10 minutes for the baby to start drinking from the bottle, go ahead and give it a break and you can try again at the next session. Other things you can try to help encourage your baby to take the bottle is dipping a pacifier into breast milk so they can taste it. You might have to experiment with different nipple types. Some babies are just picky. You can also try a sippy cup um, or even a regular cup just to help encourage them to start to take the milk by mouth. Over the following days, you'll notice that babies start to progressively take more and more milk. But as I mentioned before, keep practicing at it.